Huh, welcome back everybody. Um, as you can see, I have been uh, involved in a little uh, in a little fight here with skeletons. Sucker had a knockback bow. I could not get to him, so I had to eventually take him out with my own arrows. Um, force is looking nice. And thanks to my uh, new YouTube slash Twitter friend, uh, Desi, he has his own series called Decidedly Vanilla. Um, he gave me a tip on the trees. Back in the day, you had to really space them apart, but apparently now they'll grow right next to each other, and they'll even grow in groups of four. So that is a good little tidbit, uh, tidbit to know. I am, in this episode, planning on doing a little walkabout. Um, as you can see, right now the path is not very clear um, and I still don't have a stinking bed. I have two wool out of three. As soon as, as, soon as I get the third, um, I will come home and, and make a bed. So, in fact, one thing I do not have, just in case I run into sheep, is shears. Should have crafted shears because you never know when I might get it easily for one time in my life. Um, here, eggs. Yeah, my chickens. I'm gonna have to start rounding them up because they are kind of becoming an annoyance, being all loose. All right, I think we're good to go here. Should grab a bucket of water on the way just in case. Of course, as I come up here. Ah, uh, well, good. Sun's coming out. What a great time. You know, early bird gets the worm, so we're going to leave early. Get going here and see if we can't uh, find ourselves a little area that has more animals, uh, cows and sheep, namely. That would be great. That would be great. So what do I have to contend with up here? I saw a creeper up there. Oh, right there. He's probably not going to see me. He may have just despawned, but once I get to the top here, I am kind of flying blind. I might get something dropped right in my head. Hopefully not. So far, so good. A little scary here. I do not want to die. Little scary. Oh, look at that. Bread. Yum. Okay. Oh, boy. Let's go fast, 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 fast. Ah, scared, scared, scared. A little scared. All right. All right, all right. Yes. Wait, no, that's not where I want to go. I want to go this way. Okay, nothing? Good. Still haven't uh, dismantled the failed gravel tester, but whatever. We'll get to that some other time. Not a high priority for me. This way should be the way to the desert oasis we might pass it and say hello before we go hopefully since I got far enough away from their chunk the um, hopefully they're still alive and that guy in the the villager earlier that I was that I thought was I'm gonna have to explore that look at the mouth of that cave that looks awesome um, but earlier the guy that I didn't like, who was tra who was uh, trading gravel and emeralds for uh, flint, actually, I think I might like him now. I might I might have had a change of heart because um, I can fish and earn emer emeralds. Plus, I've already mined two emeralds. Yeah, look, the sounds of life. Of course, you're spamming a door. Yeah, you. Four. I don't know if that's worth it. What, 16 arrows? Mm. Mm. I mean, I could earn emeralds a few times before those guys cancel that type of transaction. But anyways, okay, let's go through. Let's go through the desert here. And um, let's see. Let's see where this oasis is at because once I can get here, I can get home. So. We are at six, 
uh, y or x is negative 958 and z is 328. All right. Save that information for future use, and then we can just go run amok. We will not get lost. Desert. Just think of in in uh, Minecraft if they start implementing the need for uh, slaking your thirst. Uh, which I, I believe they do in uh, Mine Mine Z, which is a, an, an adventure mod of sorts. Um, I believe they do it there, where you have to drink constantly. Where are you at? In the shadows. I must be above a little cavern or something. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I didn't come here for you, bud. I came here for animals. Oh, hard mode. I love how you make me hungry every two seconds. It's so, uh, so fun. Okay, nothing. The sounds of caverns. I like that. See, these hills. These are the convenient places to build, usually. Because right over the hill here I should have probably planes it's usually how it goes isn't it so no temples I didn't really search that uh, desert far and long like maybe I should have but oh look at this oh yeah bed making time sweet Sweet. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, yes. You know what? I'm taking more than I need because why not? It's here. Man. Cows? Lovely, lovely. Now the here comes the question though. Yeah, I've got my uh my valley. It's alright. It's got a workstation. I've done some mining there. All in all, it's not a bad little area. However, resource-wise, it's pretty low. I mean, you've seen the mines. The mines are a little crappy, to say the least. Lack of better terms. Um, man, so many of you cows. One, two, three, four, five. So I can, I can kill. So much as I hate to do this. I gotta get some leather, right? So I can make at least one book. So f when I finally get to that point where I'm successfully mining obsidian, I can make my first uh, enchanting table. Oh, wow. Yeah, look. Cows all over the place. Man. All right, guys. Something to consider, and I, this is a strong consideration, is to have a base here as well I mean that can be like you know I can have several areas and, and we can connect the two with uh, railroads and whatnot but look at this man this is just resource rich you know that these hills have you know that these hills have um, usually have great caverns great cave systems they normally have abandoned mine shafts which I've yet to run into which are pretty much my favorite things to do in the game. Oh, I hear lava. I mean, I don't know. Let's, is this for example here? Dead end? Fine, that's fine. But I can hear water running. Oh, look, see? Look at that. Look at that, right there. Skeleton. Hey, bud, look. Right in the... Right in the, right in the uh, gut there. Yeah, he's running away. He knows what's up. Anyways... See what I mean, though? This is, um, yeah, this might be a better choice of a place to really uh, mine and gain material. Oh, man, look at this valley. Look at this. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I have, a, I have a bit to consider here, guys. A bit to consider. Water... 
cows. Mm. You know, I just don't know. Oh my gosh. Awesome ravine. Look at that. A ravine that runs into... Come on now. Come on now. You are just... This is just Temptation Island here. Oh, wow. Yep. I think... You know what? Sorry to do this to you. Well, I don't know if I should apologize because this is... This is going to be better to watch. All in all. This is... Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty dangerous edge there. I got a little little monument area here. Natural monument. Uh, yeah. Whatever. Okay. I mean, look at all this. Trees, hills, wintry spot starting over there, which means I should be able to find some wolves, some doggies for our little family here. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to at least do some work here. Um, let's build a little... I've got some building materials. Let's build a little place here, okay? Wood. Alright. Just for shelter. We're going to do it right here, maybe? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Darn it. A little house. This isn't really a, any kind of uh, meaningful, um, long lasting shelter. This is just something that I can work in and make tools and simple things like that. Smelt and have a kind of a place to come back to. I've got plenty of cows, so I'm not going to run out of food. I'm going to have to herd them. So I'm going to have to grow more wheat, which is fine. I'm a wheat master. Okay, so, all right, wood. Yeah, this, I mean, this house may... Come on now. Who's it? Who tries to chop wood with a shovel, really? Uh, this house may kind of be lame at first, but it does not matter its lameness. It's functioning, and that's all I care about. Wide windows. Yeah. Wide window. Oh, man. It's getting dark already. Gee whiz. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do something like that. Wait, is that what I just wanted to do? No. No. Idiot. No. Yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to put wood there. Yeah. Wood with the wood. Cobble with the cobble. Moo to you. Can we make the leap? Ugh. Oh my gosh. Freaking Spider Man. Alright. Oh yeah. So now we can kind of roof this thing. We want to roof it with wood? Why not? I don't know why I'm caring about a pattern right now but I just can't like those all wood or all cobble shacks I just I can't do it they they just wear on my mind all right all right fine and then that's some creeper like come in there blast me when I'm not looking concentrating on other things 46 plenty left Okay, it's not the greatest, but, and I don't have any glass or anything yet, but whatever. But it will do in a pinch, so let's do this, first of all. Put 
course I'm going to use every last piece of wood I have. That, you know, that's just my style. Okay. Okay. Now I can be shot at. I can I can deal with that cuz I can shoot back. No problem. What shall we do? Let's do this. Eat. Get a furnace ready because I will be cooking some steaks here in a moment. And I don't. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Duh! Wake up, Prespa. Wake up. Yes. Got so used to not having a bed that I didn't even think of it in consideration of what things I need to be doing. Awesome! I just slept. I've got guys burning. Where are you? Hi, burning guy. Drop a. Drop an enchanted bow when you die. Just for kicks. Just for kicks. Go ahead. This is like good TV. Ah, this is a uh, picture in picture. The upper upper left quadrant of the TV is a is a burning is my uh, burning scaly movie. Okay, I'm gonna no doubt have a creep around my butt. Oh man, he's gonna blow me into a valley. Let's see. See the way I think? See the way I don't think? I put my door right where I jump out. I probably have to dodge creepers in the morning, and I'm going to be dancing on the edge of a cliff. Awesome. Wouldn't have it any other way, right? Okay, you. Sorry. Butt shot. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, you're not that fast. Uh, oh. What are you? Some sort of... I gotta get better at that. Alright. Steak and leather. We like... We like the steak. Steak sticks to the ribs. Yeah? You guys. You. One, two. Three. Four, five. Mm hmm. Six. Okay. We got. This is how we're going to do this. You guys over here. Yes, three stakes. I foresee Minecraft. I think what they're going to do is probably stay ahead of the mods as far as difficulty goes. I mean, I know some of the mods have um, some pretty, you know, kick butt creatures, but at the end of the day, they have um, armor that can really uh, overpower those things. So with that being said, I think, I mean, regardless of the, the diamond armor and all the things you can get here, I think the build up to those, getting those items is a lot harder than on modded Minecraft, a lot more difficult than on mod modded Minecraft. So I think what's going to happen is, it seems to be a trend with, the Mojang folks that they stay ahead of the curve when it comes to difficulty and I can I can see in the future when you attack animals that they all start to run in fear and they don't just um, you know run for a second even though that would be that would make it quite a bit more difficult to get something to eat I guess or to stock up on food but I could really foresee them doing that if they're out in the wild and you attack one of the cows like I did, they, they kind of, you know, they yell, they speak, they speak each other's language. I could foresee, I can see them, um, you know, s belting out to their, par you know, fellow cows and having them run around like crazy because they're scared of your butt, you know? That sounds like something that's, that's realistic. I don't know if that'll actually happen, but that would be par with um, the way they like to do things uh, difficulty-wise. Alright, so here we go. Well, first of all, 
Probably should get some wood here, huh? Wood is good. You know what? Gosh darn it, I keep doing this. Do I have enough wood to um, smelt this? I don't even. Okay. Great. Great, grand, wonderful. Here we go. So we're going to get some trees. Oh, birch is nice. I like the look of birch a lot. Do some cool things with it, especially with um, using the the raw wood for um, floor patterns and whatnot. Super cool. I like to do it. In fact, I'll build a I'll build something I built before. See if you guys like it. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. So even if you don't like it, I'm gonna keep it. This is the way it goes. Mm, yeah. See, this is a lot more a lot more fun. What am I at? 15. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna be using charcoal here in a second. So. I actually need more than you would think for just like sticks and planks and stuff. Alright. Let me think about this. Yeah, four planks would be the power to smelt s six things. Whereas one trunk is um, obviously going to become one charcoal, which is going to smelt eight. So that's what we're aiming for is the ability to um, smelt more with less or be more efficient, right? What did I just do? Did I just <laughs> get lost that quickly? Of course I did. That's how I do things. So go away from the trees because where I was was a little more desolate as far as trees went. It's my freaking house. There it is. Okay. Nice. All right. Sweetness. Cool. Now this is what we're going to do. First of all, one trunk. Two sticks, one piece of charcoal. Okay, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Now I can turn one into eight, and so on. And so what I'm going to do is, guys, I'm going to smelt up a bunch of uh, glass, cook these steaks, um, get organized here, and I'll be back when I have things kind of a new foundation laid out okay be right back okay and I'm back I've just done a couple small things started to smelt some glass continuing to well continue to make a little bit of charcoal and uh, for safety precautions I just did something really quickly here and that is to build the the beginnings of a bridge here but but mainly this is for in case I walk out and um, a skeleton starts popping me with arrows or whatnot. And in case I have like a an F uh, frames an FPS fluctuation moment, um, a down flux actually. Um, I don't want to, you know, screw up my steering or something like that and run off uh, run off the cliff. So I guess I have to build a wall here too. Here, let's do for right now. I know this is not the most beautiful thing in the world, but for right now, we're just going to make it dirt until I harvest some more cobble. But this is. Darn it. This is pure survival right here. Just making sure I live. That's all. Alright, so. That should keep me pretty safe for the moment. Did I bring any steps with me? No. Okay. Well, at any rate, let's put this glass in here. 
is a window so I can't get shot from the outside or looked upon by creepers um, small well I guess it's not doing it um, for my purest friends out there I did download um, Optifine to try to increase my FPS it's not really working so I might have to figure something else out in my other recordings I was maintaining an FPS in the teens to low 20s and now I'm at 7 so Optifine is, suppo is supposed to increase your FPS not make it worse so I have to figure out what that's about um, but essentially I want to yeah this is what I wanted I want to make a pour spout down into this um, yeah oh yeah and there's a pool below cool but I wanted to do it like this yeah nice cool it's not coming this way awesome that'll be my way that'll be like essentially my ladder down here so let's do a little exploring for a second this episode I think is reaching its ideal length I'm trying to maintain something in the 25 to 35 minute range I know I have a couple that are over an hour but that's probably too long and it takes forever to upload so this is kinda like starting over but that's not what I'm really doing I am going to build well I am going to maintain um, the other the valley of course I'm not gonna get rid of the valley it's too it's just too great looking oh look hey zombies yeah come on you can't yeah you know what you know so much for increased accuracy there bud oh yeah that doesn't hurt doesn't hurt didn't hurt didn't hurt alright I do need to I didn't bring any iron with me I just came like I don't say unprepared but wasn't I just wanted to look around you know I wasn't necessarily um, planning to stay out here tons of coal hmm iron I do need a new sword but all in all this place is going to be pretty pretty nice it's kind of a short little um, ravine isn't it I kinda like that though huh cool Ooh, dug straight down I was pretty confident I wasn't gonna like, fall all the way to the lava level from there but still pretty undisciplined Hmm. So yeah, pretty cool. Gotta get all of this, and I will get all of that myself. No need to bore you with cave mining. Let's do this. Music. Wow, it's blaring in my ears. I don't know about yours, but wow, is that loud. Alright. See what we can find. This way. Hmm. I guess I can use my bucket to hey what are you doing get up there come on jeez water yeah get rid of one of these streams things annoying well so it's a little it's a small very small ravine humble little ravine 
which is fine. But you know what? There's something I want to show you before we go. This is um, something pretty cool my uh, my daughter showed me. So she is teaching me things that I never really thought to learn. But and maybe you all know this, but this is pretty. This is something I found to be pretty neat, and it has to do with uh, gardening and. Well, just check this out. Basically, okay, where do I have a fence? No, but I can make one really quickly. I'm gonna make some fencing. I'm gonna show you something here. Okay. Make some sticks. Oops, sticks. Right, and then or plank sticks, and then like this, if I remember correctly. Yes, okay, I only need one set because it's really an easy demonstration. Do I have my hoe with me? No, okay. Okay, so check this out. If you see this hole, you know, you, you make a new garden. Oh, that was smart. You make a new garden, and one of the... I mean, I guess with the, with the saturation of all the blocks around, you don't, you know, who... I don't know how many people who do the whole line of water anymore, but say you like to do that, you like the look of it, you can essentially did that grow man this grass goes quick dig this hole okay you can take this fence post and put it at the bottom like like this and then you can put water here right and you get your you get your saturation but one of the things I always have, uh, you know, an issue with, but I, I'm careful and it doesn't really become an issue anymore, but is when you fall into one of these holes or when your your crops fall into one of these holes, you got to jump out of it. And, you know, and oftentimes you'll trample the land right next to it and have to re -hoe it and everything, which is... You know, not a big problem, but it's just one of those things that you don't want to have to think about. But with this fence down here, uh, Minecraft considers it one and a half. So look, you can just walk walk right through it. If something falls down there, it's going to rest right on top of the fence post. It's not going to fall down in the, in the little quadrants there. And you're just going to be able to grab it. In fact, you might be able to grab it without you walking in. But you'll never have to trample ever again. You just walk right through it. Pretty cool. And she, you know, she, I just happened to be watching her play and she was doing that. I don't think for that purpose, I think she was just screwing around, you know, but she in, inadvertently found a way to never have to trample things ever again. It's pretty cool. So I don't know if, um, and that's, you know, I know now that there's, there's lily pads that you can, what the crap, pick that up, please. Thank you. There's lily pads that you can set on um, top of water now, but you know in the early game when you are setting up your garden and you have not come across a swamp yet or an area that has lily pads, you know this is uh, this is a good alternative to that, so that you don't sink. It's pretty neat. And I know there's other ways, you know. You can have the half slab here and cover it and all that. That's fine. But uh, this is, you know, if you like to see the water, this is just another option. So, but that's about all the time we have for this episode. So we basically traveled from our old place to the new. And um, 
you know, establish this little hole. Oh, looks like we forgot a spot. And, you know, establish this little forward base. And we're going to explore and go diamond hunting. That is that is the name of the game. That's what I'm doing. Um, that's my next goal is just diamonds and obsidian and the nether. And that's where we need to be. That's what we need to be get, getting onto. So until next time, guys, see ya.